Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Tuesday, June the 19th, 2012, and uh, with a gold, silver, and stock forecast. This is the GLD, the gold ETF. We were down about a half a percent here, but a lot of good stuff happening. We are now, the, it's now the fifth day we've closed above this blue line here. This is the 50 day moving average. So lots of support coming in here at this key moving average. And I've drawn a line along the lows here, which is moving up very rapidly. This is a lower channel line, which is offering some support here as we move higher. So things all of a sudden are starting to look a lot better for gold. Uh, we've had some nice accumulation down here, some good volume updates. Last couple of days have been, have been slow on the volume part, but we're kind of just stalling along this line here. Now we still have some work to do. We've got to get above this green dotted line, which is the 100 day moving average which has been uh, offering us uh, some resistance here the last couple of times it's tried to get up there. So that's going to be a challenge there. And then, we're, of course, we're below this black dotted line, which is the 200-day moving average as well. But uh, you can see the momentum is shifting. Uh, this red line is the 21-day moving average. That is now pointed decidedly to the upside. And you can also see this gray line, the 10-day, also moving up uh, pretty nicely. So gold starting to look strong again. Moving on now to silver, this is the SLV, the silver ETF. Uh, that was down about eight tenths of a percent. And you can see silver is a bit weaker than the gold, although that we're, we are building a nice cup formation down here. Um, we are below the 50 day moving average, however, this uh, blue solid line. Uh, a lot of traders get more excited when we start closing above this line like we have been in the gold, uh, but uh, silver below it. So a little more weakness in the silver. Um, you can see we are getting support along this red line though. This is the 21 day moving average. This is where shorter term traders will either support or uh, let a stock go. So they're offering support here, uh, closing right on it today. Uh, so signs of support there. Notice how we have a nice little tight trading range. That's a sign of support as well. Volume has been on the, on the low side. So perhaps uh, traders just biding time here, uh, moving silver sideways here, uh, looking for some uh, direction. But uh, we've now shifted our bias to the upside, uh, certainly in the short term on silver. But lots of work to do, lots of key moving averages to get above here. Uh, not out of the woods yet on the silver, but looks like we're building the left side of a cup formation here. So silver looking constructive here. Okay, moving on now to stocks. This is the SPY, the S&P 500 uh, ETF. Great move today, up almost 1% and closing above the 100 day moving average. Uh, great sign. Uh, this is the second uh, day of closing above the 50 day moving average, this uh, blue solid line. So lots of good action. A fourth update in a row for um, the SPY. And uh, now we are above all the key moving averages. You can see the 200 day moving average way down here, which offered some great support. We had uh, fallen off here at the beginning of May, had a month of drawdown, and then got support down here, never closing below the 200 day moving average. That is a sign that the larger institutional, institutional uh, traders are supporting uh, the S&P 500 at this level. And now we've had a nice move to the upside here. And uh, of course, clearing all the key moving averages. So stocks looking strong in the short term and now in the intermediate term. Our next point of resistance will be this upper trend line here that I've drawn along the tops here uh, at about the 140, 139 level. So let's see what happens, but it uh, looks like we're off to the races. And moving on now to the NASDAQ up 1.2%. And uh, today, monumental day today, clearing and staying above the 50 day moving average. So great sign on the NASDAQ. Now, of course, the NASDAQ confirmed a new rally on Friday when it moved up in nice volume here, 1.3% uh, uh, in good volume, confirming a new rally. And so stocks are now in a confirmed uptrend. It is time to be buying our leading stocks that are breaking out of sound bases on volume, the kind of stocks we trade at goldenticker.com. But uh, NASDAQ looking good. And we have what they call a reverse head and shoulders uh, uh, chart formation here. And you can see um, the shoulder here, the head here, and the shoulder here. And by breaking what they call the neckline, if you draw a line along these peaks here, uh, you get what they call a neckline. And we broke that decidedly uh, uh, yesterday and are running higher. So next point of resistance will be this green dotted line, the 100 day moving average, which could offer us some trouble. We'll have to see. And that's coinciding with this upper tops line uh, in that area too at around the 2950 level. So a uh, nice run up four days in a row and uh, but could come into some overhead resistance here, which would be a natural thing 
possibly regrouping and bolting higher. So uh, NASDAQ looking good. So uh, gold, silver, and stocks uh, looking good in the short term and doing some very constructive chart work. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.